Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode on a GTA 5 with Howie Racer who is trying to destroy some supply trucks. Now this is should be straightforward enough job. There's a sticky bomb on the back of the vehicle. Now, I'm not quite sure why the player waits as long and detonates the truck in such a dangerous position. It's not the cleverest manoeuvre ever done and it leads to the Sultan catching on fire which then has to be abandoned. Now the Sultan also explodes behind and with it takes another AI car that loses its trailer. <laughs> the trailer though decides to catch the player. You couldn't do that one better if you tried. You really could. It's quite quite an impressive catch. Uh, cool guy Tex up next also on GTA 5. Now watch down below by the junction, the junction by one of the big uh, bridges. Some trucks are spawning in and glitch out. Okay, now this happens sometimes in GTA 5, nothing untoward with that. The player goes down to investigate a little bit when the truck, the mule, gets fired upwards. Not seen that before and takes out the blimp. I need that in bloody Survive the Hunt, I have to say. Yeah, very, very well. I've seen the truck spawn, a vehicle spawn on one another is not uncommon in GTA 5. Certainly not clips I've seen for this, but the actual just catapult upwards, not seen and perfectly aimed at the blimp as well. You can see it down there and then just fired. Just a bit fired out of a cannon towards the blimp. Goodbye, blimp. And the best thing is the truck doesn't even explode in that one as well. Steel guns up next on Need for Speed. Most Wanted is driving around in their 911 when something has gone wrong for the AI. Now, the player has nothing to do with it. They're far too far back. The AI truck there just fails to make the turn onto the slip road, crashes into the post and has promptly dropped the logs all over the road. I think could use them as like crash, uh, like chase breakers, like if you nudge the trucks when you're being pursued. I think that's what they're supposed to do, but uh, yeah, it turns out sometimes they just can't drive onto a slip road. But there we go. Zero the Wanderer up next on Dangerous Driving is whizzing around as you do, trying to take down some of the opponent uh, opponent cars. You know, normal gameplay, so to speak. Goes to push this one. Their car somehow gets a wheelie and it all backfires on them. But basically it didn't work. It's uh, <laughs> safe to say that that did not did not go according to plan. Uh, on to a burnout paradise next with one of the best aerial takedowns I've ever seen and one of the luckiest escapes as well. Things go wrong for the Hawker is just run wide and clips the jumper goes for a, a roll. Would have wrecked itself out of the race had it not been for the fact that the roll had landed on the roof of someone else. Uh, angry Emu up next on Street Legal racing that red line. Uh, do a drag race with what I presume is a very, very highly modified cars. Now, technically does win the race, but at a great cost. That's a very big shunt. Uh, that's destroyed the car. Um, all for $12,000. It's going to be a lot more than that. I, the engine wasn't in the car. The chassis was completely buckled. Uh, yeah. That was win at all costs, but that was some, some great costs there. Uh, Blazer up next on Car X Drift is uh, drifting, funnily enough, around one of the circuits. Heads up towards this bridge, doesn't quite get it right uh, over there. It's not the direction you want to travel in, but even better is the fact that he manages to perfectly drift it into the sign. Yes, that is very Austin Powers in there. That's not going to be going anywhere at all. Nope, you're not going to you're not going to get that car free. Again, it's another one of those. You couldn't probably do that one better if you if you tried. Uh, Captain Aaron up next on Wreckfest is racing at one of the short ovals. And let the, I say that this being less, this is always the way with Wreckfest. It's super tempting when you spot a car in trouble then suddenly it gets spun to go for the big takedown, which is effective to an extent. However, <laughs> also less effective when you get taken out and flipped. Uh, Dax Torim uh, on Trackmania, so on the latest Trackmania, is heading towards the finish of a circuit. Now there's a sneaky shortcut way to do it. The jump goes a little bit wrong. Thankfully, the planet is there so that we can cross the finish line. That is uh, that is one hell of a way to finish that event, I have to say. Uh, T-Strike up next on Grand Prix Legends. Now, this is an alien car minding its own business in the pit lane when some wheels come flying past. And then we see something ping off into the grandstand. Now, what could that have been? Well, that is the player having all sorts of issues around this final corner. See in the distance, gets things wrong, clips the inside bank, pings off a wall, wheels are spewed a <laughs> bit late. The car comes to a rest against the wall before something decides it should be launched into the ground. I don't quite know why it, it pinged off. Like, the crash initially all makes sense. And this is just carrying way too much speed into the final corner here. Can't get it. Uh, actually, not, it's not too much speed, just a wrong angle actually through there. 
clips the, the grass bank and goes for a roll, pings off two wheels, and then as the car comes to a rest, just gets chucked uh, across the circuit. Bad times indeed. Speaking of wheels and falling off, this is uh, Michael Osmond Blister 2 having spawned into a race and the vehicle is missing a rear wheel, which, funnily enough, has caused chaos for everyone. Yeah. I mean, a, a car stationary on a grid is, is pretty dangerous. I don't know what the... Is it BAR is doing a little dance over there? Yep, it's just bouncing up. Oh, now that's lost a wheel. It's still bouncing, having lost a wheel. There's one front-wheel drive Formula 1 car. It's lost both its rear wheels and it's off. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how that works. Really don't know how that works, actually. There's something upside down. Chaos and weird magic was caused because one William spawned without the rear wheel properly. Something's just pinged off into the pit lane. I don't know what that was. And finally, we have Blaze the Fox on GTR2 with another Formula car that does not care that it is missing a wheel. Uh, this one, well, I don't know whether this is the player car or AI car. I presume it's a player car, but regardless, things went wrong. Pinged off of the wall, smacked the car up pretty good. However, still quite drivable. All things considered. I don't think it's quite as strange as the front wheel drive Formula 1, but it's still up there. Uh, <laughs> With the thing, the other cars are trying to get into the pit lane. actually chaos with the way they try to take the pit lane now. That's definitely not a good way to do it. But uh, yeah, this vehicle doesn't really seem to be all that affected by the loss of a front wheel and a wing. I mean, the wheel is the bigger thing here, really. It kind of goes into the corner. It's a little bumpy and floaty, but it's all around there, okay. Open wheel cars sometimes do be very strange. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Faris clip submission. And there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.